So my last uh, video was just about uh, a little bit of my situation, uh, a little bit of a cry of help. Um, yeah, I thought I'll make a sequence of uh, you know videos about random things. Um, I thought about doing a video now just about you know some people ask me what do I do? What do I do through the day? Uh, a lot of people are stuck at home. Um, I'm unfortunate enough to be stuck at home alone and I'm pretty sure I'm one of the only people in this whole building um, yeah so I've got a relatively very nice place it's a loft um, the first thing that I did when I got to China was to uh, scrub myself a little nest something I shouldn't have done um, but I made the place feel a little bit more like uh, home or try to but uh, it's not very versatile, it's not very easy to move about, um, especially now that I'm in a situation that I've got another job lined up and I need to move all my stuff to another place. And I thought it might be the best option just to live with other people for a little while and uh, then find a nice place in the area because it's a very expensive area. And yeah, I mean, it's a good way to meet other people. Um, I'm at an age that I don't want to do that, but um, I need to be, um, well, I need to learn how to be more flexible. So my, my day, um, I'm trying to not to wake up too late in the day. Uh, I think the worst thing you can do in these times is not stay, stick with your rhythm that you usually have. So if you usually wake up at 7 or at 6 or at 8, I think the best thing would be to stick with that um, very healthy routine and you know wake up at that time and go to bed at the time you usually go to bed um, what I feel I'm doing what well what I am doing is I'm sleeping in later and later and I'm going to bed later and later like at this point in time it's already 12 30 at night and uh, I'm still wide awake um, I think there's there's many reasons for it. I think stress is definitely part of it. Uh, eating late is also part of it. I have to ration my food that I have, um, which is rationing my well, prioritizing my money that I've got left. Um, so I basically only have like one meal a day, or at most two meals, but yeah, one meal a day, and I tend to try and eat it later so that I feel, you know, more full. But uh, it doesn't help my sleep pattern at all and uh, when that's messed up you can easily fall into depression and you can easily fall into you know the days just tumbling by and you're not being productive and you're not doing anything at all. Um, which is relatively today I think that's that's mostly how my day went today. Um, I'm trying to keep busy with uh, YouTube but you can only do that for one or two hours believe it or not. Um, I mean, it's, you always have this, this idea that when I've got enough time, I'll do all this and I'll do all that, you know, but when you have that time, you don't, uh, you, you just get lost in, in, it's, it's, it's like being in, in, in a movie store where you have to choose one movie and you're overwhelmed with all, everything that's before you. It's like, there's too many good movies. You don't know what to choose and your brain just like explodes. I think it's the same type of thing uh, for me when, when I've got too much time. And I'm a, I'm a firm believer that uh, people that work hard uh, usually get done, more done. Um, they always just find time for more. They, there's always just, you know, it's, it's like everything just clicks in um, and things happen faster. Where people that have too much time on their hands, um, they keep themselves busy with a lot of nonsense and um, yeah not a lot gets done so that is me at this point in time um, I've been trying to be on my phone a lot uh, getting in contact with new people um, in groups uh, chatting about you know relevant stuff um, trying to keep my mind occupied but it's very difficult not to not to fall into this very specific you know thing that's happening and get too overwhelmed because every day there's new things that's happening you know borders that's closing and responses from your own country and 
you know the money issue and friends and family that's leaving and uh, yeah it, it it can get a little bit difficult at times and uh, I've already been I think this is my 15 or 16th day in indoors and um, there's nobody living with me I'm completely alone I haven't uh, named a soccer ball by name yet um, or anything as weird but uh, I might just start face painting myself and running around naked in, in the corridors because I'm pretty sure that I'm the only person that's left in this bu well one of the only people that's left in this building I did hear some people today uh, very briefly um, but uh, yeah it's it's a newly constructed building uh, a lot of the places was empty when I got here and it's still empty and now this this virus and it's also in a time where people are on holidays so it everything just adds up so yeah I'm, I'm going to try and be more productive and try and stick with a better game plan um, and actually stick with it you know standing up in the morning at a specific time having a pattern and and trying to keep that I feel that is one of the healthiest things anybody can do in these times um, when they are stuck at home alone um, I don't know how it would be to be stuck with somebody um, especially if you don't like that person um, and then you have to work through issues and being irritated with each other sometimes for no reason just because you are stuck and you can't do anything you can't go out uh, I can assume that uh, to be um, just as hot in a sense so yeah uh, good luck to everybody I guess and uh, we will definitely pull through and we'll definitely get these things you know uh, see it through um, till the end and uh, everybody just be safe I mean that's all we can do at this point in time but um, yeah more from me coming uh, I'm trying to keep these videos short I see it's already over 17 7 minutes um, yeah. Cheers.